Hey everybody, welcome back to the Texas Fly Fishing Report. We've had six weeks off for good reason. Uh, the weather's been terrible here in Texas. If you're from Texas, you know that. And it's been just really consistently rainy for about six weeks now to the point where I haven't been able to go out until now. Um, I went out one time, I guess, in the past six weeks. So it's been really, really tough on me. Uh, as you know, in doing these reports, I won't report anything uh, if there's nothing to report, and that starts locally. Of course, there's things going on in other parts of the state that I do report on. Uh, if they're if I can tie it together with something going on with me here in North Texas. So we're on Lake Ray Roberts today. Thought I would take the time to finally do a report. This is my third day straight of fishing out here, fly fishing. Uh, for those of you who are subscribers and viewers, welcome back. And for those of you that are new to the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel, welcome. This is a report that I do. It's about fly fishing in Texas and I try to glean information from places like uh, TV shows and the TPWD news that comes out on their fishing and try to translate that into fly fishing in Texas. So this is going to be a sketchy report because there's so much in my head that it's kind of hard to get it all out. But uh, it's been really over the top with water. We got way, there's still water coming into Lake Ray Roberts. They're releasing water, but the problem with the release is, is that the lakes down the chain are also just bloated. So this lake is bloated with water. Ray Roberts is a lake that's shaped kind of like this, with this, this direction being north. And I'm on the western branch right now, the western side of the lake. And there's an eastern side that's almost the same size just like a deep V and starting locally, of course, as I always do. Um, I've been on both sides in the last three days. Today's the third day. It's June 2nd, 2019. So I've been out here for three days and uh, each side of the lake has its own pluses and minuses. On the east side, there's a lot of fish and a lot of clarity. The water's up in the grass. And we're, when I talk about fish, I'm talking about carp. Um, I see bass now, I see buffalo, I see gar, just whatever, catfish, all this stuff. They're just up and feeding in the grass. Um, so the east side is pretty clear. The fish, the quality of the fish on the east side is not as good as where I am today, which is on the west side. And you combine these factors along with the fact that there aren't many boat ramps open on this lake and some of the other lakes are completely shut down. This one is uh, mostly shut down for the ramps, except for where I go out at Sanger Boat Ramp on the, the western southwest side. So that makes it tough um, just to get out on the water when the ramps are closed because there's this insane push of uh, yahoos that don't know what they're doing at the boat ramp and don't understand how things work and it goes a little bit nuts so that's the way that goes just my own little beef there but anyway um, as you saw in the earlier footage I lead in usually at the beginning of my reports with some catching of the fish this, in this case it was the golden bone the carp here common carp in North Texas I'm just about an hour you might be able to hear the plane from D Dallas Fort Worth and the flight path is going right over us today both directions, two planes at once. Um, so we got that going on. Not, kinda, we're not exactly at the fly bar as usual, but the fly bar is soaked. It's just like everything around here is soaked. So when it rains, we've had, it's not the rainiest spring we've ever had in Texas, but it's one of the top rainiest uh, springs we've ever had. So what's going on is that the water and the ground is soaked now and there's no, it's all runoff. So there's no absorption, it's all runoff, flash flooding, and then the lakes are just, just they're trying to release, it'll go up, it'll go down, it'll go up, and, and it's just like, I came out on Friday and it, it was, well, Thursday late. So this is my Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday fourth day in a row out here. Um, 
and I expected the lake to be down between Thursday and Friday and it was up and I expected it to be down between Friday and Saturday and it was up again so the lakes are going up even though it's not raining we had a little storm pass through this morning not much rain attached to it just a very cloudy and these clouds are lending themselves to another problem we have we sight fish for carp so we we can't see them we can't catch them so it's really tough so you combine on the on the east side the lack of clarity and the lack of sunshine that's why I'm on the west side today. I'm trying to explore new areas. There's not a lot of flats on the west side compared to the east side. And if there are flats out here, they're drowned. They're completely drowned. There's one that was a really beautiful one. It's over that way. So we're kind of facing northwest right now. There's one on the other side. I'm on the eastern side of the western branch. And one time, there's probably a video of it from years and years ago, maybe about six or seven years ago, something five, six and it was it got flooded like this but it's a field of flowers so we we're just going through this field of flowers it's really cool anyway i just hit my mic let's see if i'm still recording yeah we're still recording good not, not too polished at this it's been so long if you want to go to the texas gulf coast let me tell you what's going on real quick like i said inland waters texas either releasing water into the end of the dam into the uh, rivers before the dams break uh, and the lakes are bloated beyond belief. Just, it's never, I've never seen it so consistently, you know, over so many lakes. You get to Salto, you've got a lot of water out there. It's windblown tides right now. There's very, very high water in, in the inland bays. And what you've got to do is get as skinny as you possibly can. You've got to go back in as far as you think, further than you think fish will be there. And that's where they are because the water's up. When that water's up, they just continually push in until they until they just feeding. They just push in and explore, exploring for more food. So I'm hearing about red, big redfish, like in Galveston system, and six inches of water. It's just it's just a, a whole new ball game there for now. Of course, the temperatures, water temperatures up here, water temperatures up on the coast, and um, we're getting more rain coming this week. So it's been really tough. I'll try and do something for you guys, um, maybe a fly tying thing or something, you know, coming into the next week or so and see what I can do with that. Maybe a live broadcast. It's just been really, really a tough, tough, tough spring. That water kind of stinks. I probably just poisoned myself. Anyway, we'll find out later, won't we? Appreciate you guys tuning in. You know, I, I, I'm going to sneak in some footage from, it's just tourist footage from Florida and the Florida Keys, like in the credits. I'm going to go ahead and, for this week, go ahead and run the Thursday um, TPWD scroll. So it'll scroll at the end and it'll tell you what's going on throughout the state. Just remember that I don't do Chamber of Commerce stories, that I tell exactly what's going on. And I don't sugarcoat it. You know, tendency is for people who, who make their living on tourism dollars, TPWD, and budgets like that, and tax dollars, um, those guys tend to um, make things sound better than they really are. I hate to say that, but it's true. I always thank my sponsor, Sage, Hatch, Yeti. And whoever else that I forgot, I'll add them on sometime at some other later date. But I've got plenty of them. Uh, Sims is one. Today, what I do is I just go for max coverage. And that means you buff here. Usually buff around the neck, but I couldn't wear it because it would rub against the microphone. And then uh, for non-slip, non-marking, just wear uh, Sperry Top Siders. I mean, what the heck, you know, good stuff. And I'm gonna wait for more clouds to clear and go back in here. What would I call this is prospecting. So what we're doing today is we're prospecting for fish. Looking, it's like digging for gold, basically. You just look and, and try to find places where you never found them before and see if you can uh, make things happen in a different way for, um, for something different. Thanks for watching. 
I hope you got a kick out of those those carp at the beginning of the video. I'll put I'm about to put one at the end too. I'll put one at the beginning, one at the end. So yeah, that was yesterday. I haven't caught anything today. I caught a couple on Friday over here on the on the west side. The ones I caught yesterday were on the east side, so they're not that big. Um, and I will put out uh, you know a couple of clips like that. And got I had a couple break me off two days ago. It's, it's all blurry now, four days in a row on the water. But hopefully this is the end of the, the major rains and we will um, be on for uh, the rest of the summer. And if not, we're gonna drive one place that I would be really interested in hearing about if you can get there, Fairfield. Lake Fairfield is halfway between Dallas and Houston. It's a good point to meet some Houston folks. And that lake has been um, off the radar for a long, long time, and I hear that it's really picking up because it's had time to regenerate itself with, with uh, natural spawn and things like that. It's no longer a cooling lake. It does not function to cool down the coal fire generator there, so forget about that. Redfish are there in fresh water. Redfish are there, but it, there's not very many left, apparently. I'm sure you can, you can prove me wrong, and I'd love to see you do it. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. Again, this is the report for June. Uh, today's the second, so it'll come out on June 3rd, Monday, and it should last you a whole week. And after that, we'll be back on, whether it's sunny, rainy, or whatever. I'm going to do it, and we're not going to stop until the fish stop biting this fall. Talk to you later. Always email me or text me. You can text me at 940-380-0408. And you can subscribe to my text messaging for fishing, fly fishing, hot spots in Texas. So if I hear about something, I'm going to put it out. If I find something myself, I'm really going to, that's the first priority is put out stuff that I find. But um, that's a good way to, to get a notice on um, conditions in some other places and some hot spots in Texas. So you guys have a great week. And if you get a chance... Call in sick and go fly fishing this week. Thanks for watching.